Hi, and welcome to Animal Zone. I'm Arthur von Wiesenberger, and this handsome fellow is Mikey, my adopted pit bull. Animal Zone is the A to Z on everything about adoptable pets. Whether you're looking for a bird, a cat, a dog, or even a tortoise, we've got experts who can share their knowledge and insights. So cuddle up with your favorite critter and join us as we explore the Animal Zone. Today we're going to go to the historic spa town of Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, to a Victorian house filled with adoptable kittens and cats called Give Purrs a Chance. Then we're going to head down to Paw Works at the Pacific View Mall in Ventura. It's an easy way to adopt a cat or a dog. The pet psychic, Laura Stinchfield, talks with a dog that works at the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation in Santa Paula. And we talk with an adopter who found their forever family member at the Santa Barbara Humane Society. So join us as we go for a tour on the Animal Zone. Bonjour Alex. Bonjour Renaud. Happiness? It's great food prepared the French way. Chocolate eclair. What makes you happy? A touch of Paris. Without the trip to France. Handcrafted daily in our bakery is especially for you. Indulge yourself. Bon appétit. Please visit Renault's in Gelson, Santa Barbara, Long Beach, and La Cañada, Flint Ridge. The Santa Barbara Humane Society is an independent, local, community-based nonprofit with adoptable animals ready to find a forever home today. The Santa Barbara Humane Society offers low-cost spay, neuter, and vaccinations to cats and dogs in our community. And Dr. Sisk is our veterinarian who performs those surgeries and helps with the vaccinations. Also, please have a relationship with your local veterinarian in case of an emergency. Visit sbhumanesociety.org and remember... At the Santa Barbara Humane Society, we want you to adopt, not shop. Today, we're in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. This town is known as America's first spa, but beyond just its water, it's also known for its cat cafe called Give Purrs a Chance. So let's go in and check it out. with George, the founder of Give Purrs a Chance in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. And George, how did you start this? We came up with the idea three years ago after actually the first cat cafe in the country opened in Oakland, California. And they were so successful that we planned for a year and a half. And uh, by the time we opened, there were about 50 cat cafes in the country, but we have the largest square footage in terms of space, and we also have more cats than any of the other cat cafes in the country. We usually have 45 to 50 cats. Wow, that's a lot of kitties. What, are you been a cat lover all your life? I started out as a dog lover. Uh, it wasn't until my 40s that I switched. I still love dogs just as much, but uh, I now own 24 cats. So. That's a lot of kitty. That is a lot of cat. So your cats that you get here, where do you rescue them from? We primarily work with three different rescues in the local area, and they're required to not only fully vet the cats, but to socialize them before they come here. So people that come and uh, spend the day here are constantly amazed that we can have that many cats in the house and they don't fight and they all get along. I know, everyone seems to be so mellow. And uh, I mean, of course, they have a lovely castle to enjoy, which uh, m might make them feel more at home. Uh, by the way, tell me, this castle, you had someone build it for you, right? It was built uh, locally here in Berkeley Springs and styled after the Berkeley Springs Castle. It's about a quarter mile from us. Uh, and it's one of the leading architectural features in our county. Well, and the cats seem to like to play in it, huh? Uh, they love the castle, so there's usually five, six, seven, eight cats uh, on the castle at any given time. So since you opened, how many cats have you had adopted? 
We have done 435 cats in about 21 months. We average over 20 a month, which uh, we're really pleased with. We didn't think we'd do that well when we opened. And are these people from the area that are adopting? Uh, many are from the area and live in the local area uh, or within 50 miles of us, but we do a lot of adoptions in the Washington, D.C. area, Baltimore, Maryland, and in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, we've sent cats to Florida, Texas, California, uh, all over the country at this point. Mm, that's, that's very impressive. This house is a, an amazing what, Victorian house, isn't it? It was built about 1920, late Victorian. Wow, and it has different levels. It seems like you have like the general population down here on the ground floor. It's it's a two-story building, five bedrooms, so uh, the adult cats have the full range of the house. They can go upstairs, downstairs, any way they want. And then there's two bedrooms that's set aside just for the kittens. We usually have 15 to 20 kittens uh, at any given time, and they have their separate room, and they're uh, live on YouTube, and they uh, people really gravitate to the kitten room, but probably half our adoptions are adults and half kittens. Wow. Now, do you have any special needs cats? We've had many over the time. Uh, We've had six one-eyed cats, we've had five uh, three-legged cats, we've had two cats that were uh, paralyzed on their back legs. Uh, I remember last year when I came here, there was a, I think you had a beautiful white cat that was blind uh, upstairs and he was just such a sweet kitty. We've had, yeah, deaf cats uh, and it's just part of what the cat is and we have no trouble getting uh, the special need cats adopted out. That's really terrific. What thing, uh, I mean, when, you, when you're when you adopting a kitty, what are some of the things that you tell people they should consider before they adopt a cat? It depends whether they have cats or not. Most of our adopters uh, already have pets, so they're pretty well uh, informed how to do it. Uh, when people adopt, particularly a kitten, and they don't have other pets, we strongly encourage them to adopt two kittens because we think uh, not only they help uh, keep each other company, uh, but it's about 10 times more fun to have two kittens than one kitten. Yeah, it helps burn off that en kitten energy, too, a it little does. bit. You have two of them playing with each other. three in the morning. <laughs> yeah, what is it about cats? that They want to play in the middle of the night. What is that? They are nocturnal. They sleep 16 hours a day, but they are always up at 3 or 4 or 5 in the morning. County shelters um, uh, in this area, do they, uh, are, are they no-kill shelters in, in, in uh, West Virginia? For the most part, most of the shelters around here are no-kill, but uh, our philosophy is there's no such thing as a no-kill shelter until they're all no-kill. When I look at these cats, I feel like, you know, you've got, you've got such a mixture. Uh, I mean, do you ever have any sort of exotic ones that come in? Do you have any of those the, you know, the six six paw kitties or? We've had uh, several polydactyls. We just adopted one out last week. Uh, we've gotten some beautiful cats. We almost never get a purebred cat, but we had uh, two ragdoll mixes in this week. We had a Persian recently. Uh, we've had some Siamese, so we pick our cats more on personalities and looks, but it doesn't hurt to have some of the great looking cats. They get adopted more quickly, unfortunately, but uh, we have a great variety here, so uh, we pretty much always have every color in stock. So now when someone wants to come and visit uh, Give Purrs a Chance, uh, they can come in and visit the Cat Cafe, right? And, and have, a, have a coffee or tea? Uh, during the summer months, we're, we're more equipped to uh, have uh, coffee. The health department here in West Virginia is pretty strict, as most of them are, so it, it's not easy to have cats and the food in the same area, but we have a separate entrance and we do have a cafe. So we've had a food truck here before and people can bring food. Uh, and we're the only cat cafe, I believe, in the country that has an all day admission price. So we have wonderful restaurants in town. So people come in, uh, take a break, go out and eat, go shop at our local shops and then come back. Uh, so the all day admission price really works well for us. So they'll, they'll, they'll come in here and spend hours uh, kind of communing with the kitties, huh? Is that how it works? It's open admission, so yeah, some people come when we open at 11 and we have to force them out at 5 when we leave. Really? Some parents can't get their kids out, so they'll go shopping, go out to lunch and leave the kids here. Gee, you, know, you have multi-services. <laughs> Child care and kitties. Um, and I guess it's a great way for people to really uh, get to know a cat before you adopt it, is just spending time. Our whole philosophy is a cat should never be in a cage, so we have a cage-free environment. Our cats have the full range of the house. It, it's their house. And yes, people can, in a very relaxed, laid-back atmosphere, spend as much time getting to know the cats. Most of our adopters uh, say that the cat chose them as opposed to the adopter chose the cat, and that's really the way we want it to work. Yeah, I think that's very true. What's your dream, what's your vision for Give Purrs a Chance? When we opened, our, our vision was to adopt out 100 cats a year. 
and we did over 200 the first year. We're hoping to do 300 our second year, so we just hope to keep expanding and, and be able to find as many forever homes for our, our cats as we can. Fantastic. Well, it's hard not to fall in love when you're a gift for a chance. This little one I'm ready to take home with me. Anyway, we've got lots more Animal Zone. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Larissa Wall, and here's a rescue tip for you. If you're ready to rescue and adopt an animal, make sure you really research your breeds. Know what kind of lifestyle you have. Are you really active? Are you sedentary? Do you live in an apartment or you have a large home for an animal to run? It makes a huge difference as to what kind of breed will work best for you. If you're really lazy and you work all day and want to come and relax when you get home, make sure to get a little one like these that can just sit at your lap. But if you'd love going on hikes and playing fetch all day, get a more active working dog. I promise the right fit makes the right family. Hey, take a look at these loving animals that you can adopt today. And don't worry, if someone beats you to the shelter, there are plenty more wonderful animals ready to find you and their forever home. Every morning, you could count on it being there with the rise of the sun. We're proud to say we've been there every day with you. The Santa Barbara News Press plans to continue sharing the news of the day with you all through the year and beyond. It's nice to know there are some things you can still count on. The Santa Barbara News Press, serving Santa Barbara since 1855. Subscribe today. Call 1-800-654-3292. The Santa Barbara County Animal Care Foundation is dedicated to saving animals' lives, but we need your help to continue this critical work. SBCACF provides year-round medical and surgical care so that abandoned, homeless, or abused animals receive the best second chance at finding a loving home. No animal is turned away from surgical care. To learn more and assist us in keeping that pledge, visit sbcanimalcare.org and make a donation today. If they can be saved, we want to save them! Well, here we are today in the Mall Inventura, and you know, I'm in the mood to go shopping, but not for the usual stuff. I've got something else in mind, and I think it's right here at Paul Works. Hey, Brittany. Brittany Hi. is the operations manager here at Paul Works. Hi, guys. Hi, Arthur. This is an amazing idea. Tell us what Paul Works is all about. Thank you. So, um, Paul Works is one of the actual biggest nonprofit 501c3 um, animal rescues in Southern California. And we pull animals from at-risk situations in high kill shelters all over the states and try to find them adoptive homes. And you're in malls? We're in malls, yeah. So we're one of the first um, nonprofit rescues to gain mall settings after doing pop-up adoption events um, all over Ventura County and LA County. Mace Rich Property Management Company offered us a space in Thousand Oaks and now Ventura since 2015. Wow. And um, we're just, we're changing the, the face of rescue, at least trying to. It's amazing. And how, how many animals have you gotten adopted since you started? Oh God, it's been well over 4,500 animals that have been rescued and adopted out over the past four years. That's incredible. I hear a little barking. Can we go and take a look? Absolutely. Let's right, go say hi. Let's go have a little walk around. <laughs> So here we are, I, get, I see you can adopt cats as well. Yes, cats and dogs alike, we get both. And that's Sadie, right? That is Sadie. Hi, Sadie, you're yes. available for adoption? Say yes, I oh, Well, I brought a shopping bag, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and speaking of shopping, you've got a store here, right? Yes, yes. So, so how does it work? What do you have in the store? So we have a resale boutique where the community, in order to give back to rescue, can donate gently use items, home goods, animal stuff. We will sell those pro those items and all the proceeds go to benefit the rescue. What a great idea. It's so you're, you're a store and an adoption We're center. We're a full circle type of organization where we want anybody who wants to help, we just want to give them a way to help. That is terrific. And of course you also have dogs, right? Oh, well, I, mean, I heard a little bark when we walked in. So, <laughs> yeah, but Malta's dying to say hi. Oh, let's go say hello to the dogs. <laughs> So this is the adoption center, right? Yes, yes. And tell me a little bit about our two friends here. Okay, this is Sheba. She's about six years old. She's a Kelpie Shepherd mix, as far as we know. Um, she's delightful, does well with other dogs, and very well with people. And this over here, this nugget is Balto, and he is about five-year-old American Eskimo. And he likes to talk, he likes to hold a conversation, but most importantly, he likes to snuggle. As you can see, he's a very attentive type of a dog. He likes his belly rub. 
I think so. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, and then these are your bigger dogs, and you also have little ones, right? We do, yes. Yeah. So we have a handful of littles today, but we're actually in the process of pulling many more from high kill shelters throughout California. We just did an intake on Monday, and we're doing another one this coming Friday. So we'll be getting probably another 30 animals in from um, high kill shelters throughout the state. Wow. Yeah, so we get them all. And so when people come in here, if they want to see some of your other dogs that may, may, may not be here for the day, is there a way for them to take a look at them? Absolutely. So it's just as simple. If you see them on the site or you see them in our adoption booklet, then you can um, speak to a manager and request for that animal to be in the center the following day, and we will make it happen if they're available. Oh, that's such a great idea. Easy peasy. So the, the website for people who want to learn more about PawWorks? Uh, it's uh, www.pawworks.org. And it has all of our adoptable animals, ways to volunteer, ways to contribute, and um, overall just about our rescue. Well, I think we need to wrap him up, and I'm going to take my little Eskimo yeah. down and get, we're going to rub noses yeah. together. He is so adorable. Yeah, he's like, he's ready to go. He's the perfect oh, little package. Oh, God. I'm he's falling in love again. <laughs> Brittany, it's so great to be here. Thank you Thank for you. inviting us in. I'm so glad you guys took the time to come today. I really, I hope, it's our slice of heaven, so welcome to it. It is a bit of heaven. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break, and there'll be more heaven coming up after these words. Hi, I'm Monty Roberts, and you're watching Animal Zone. And believe me, the animals can't adopt one another. We need to step in with our brain and help them get along. Adopt an animal. It'll give you joy. Hey, take a look at these loving animals that you can adopt today. And don't worry, if someone beats you to the shelter, there are plenty more wonderful animals ready to find you and their forever home. Care for Paws was started in 2009 with the goal to reduce pet overpopulation and keep animals out of shelters and also to ensure that pets can stay with their owners for life. We from the get-go established a free spay and neuter program that would help low-income pet owners fix their pets. So we provide shots, microchips, dewormer, flea treatment. We also have a veterinary intervention program. It's a way for us to help improve the quality of life for the animal as well for the owner because when an animal suffers in the family, so does the rest of the family. Imagine, if you will, a zone. A zone where animals can talk to humans. Submitted for your amazement, the pet psychic, as we enter the animal zone. Today we're at the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation in Santa Paula, California, with our pet psychic, Laura yeah. and, and Gemma. And Dane, <laughs> and it's so great to have you all here. And and this little guy is really full of energy, huh? Yeah. So Gemma is a search dog in training. She's in the beginning of her training, and we're gonna ask her like what she thinks about her training and where she came from, right? Right. I, I don't think they really know her history yeah. a bit. Uh, and she seems like she's one of those perfect search dogs. She's got all that energy. All that energy, I know, right? Yeah. So maybe you can okay. tune into that energy. Okay, so Gemma, listen, listen. When you came here, you started to learn about how to be more perfect. And you've been learning how to find people. Oh, that's so cool. You say sometimes when you bark at them, you know where they are. I know, but you got to look right at them because when you look right at them, then it tells your people where they are. Because if you just bark all over the place, they don't know. So you got to look right at the people and bark, okay? And direct your bark right at where they, where you find them. Okay, that's super important. You had a family, 
When you were littler, you had a family. Oh, what was your family like? There were kids, and you ran them over. I kind of believe that. You went under their legs. Mm, I could see you doing that. <laughs> you say they loved you. They miss you. So then what happened? How did you get to the shelter? If your people missed you, they didn't drop you off at the shelter? You got lost? Oh, bummer. You were running really fast and you got picked up in a car. Oh, did you get out of your yard? Is that what happened? And a car picked you up and they tried to keep you for a while. They were like, enough of this dog. You might have had too much energy for them. I think maybe an angel helped you get connected with the search dogs, huh? So you could have a really cool job. Do you know what your cool job is now? This is the best place ever. Because when you're here, you have a mission. What's your mission? Do you know? To save people? Oh, that's a really cool mission. And you're like the best at it? I think if you keep paying attention to your trainers, you will be the best at it. But you have to really pay attention to what, that they, what they're teaching you. Okay, so when you feel yourself going like super hyper, that's when you need to kind of center yourself and focus and listen to your trainers and to their words and their minds and their hand signals. Okay, so you can focus better. Sometimes you want to chase the leaves. I know, I think that's a puppy issue. <laughs> I think you'll grow out of that. Well, Jim has found but the perfect place. Yeah, she, she has. Yeah. And I'm excited that you like to work and that you're excited. So this is really important. I want you to remember this. When you find somebody, you look straight at them and you bark, okay? That's the most important thing, okay? Because if you're gonna save people, you gotta give your handlers the right cues. And that's your job to know the right cue, okay? To look right at who you find and bark. You gotta use your nose, okay? So then, then you don't have to look at it. You have to just point your nose to where the smell's coming from. Okay, point your nose there then. You're gonna save a lot of people, good. Uh, I mean, it's pretty awesome. She's gonna be really good at it. Yeah, you're gonna be great. Right? I mean, she's like, thinks it's a cool, <laughs> cool game. Well, that's great. Well, Laura, thank you so much. Oh, As my always, pleasure. very impressive. Super fun. And thank you, Gemma and Dean. And uh, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, there'll be more Animal Zone right here. Stay tuned. Water, the essence of life, flowing from Mother Earth, gathering essential minerals, trace elements and vitality as it journeys to the surface, collected fresh and pure from springs around the world, each one as unique as a fingerprint. The world's best bottled waters are waiting for you at bottledwaterweb.com. The Santa Barbara Humane Society is an independent, local, community-based nonprofit with adoptable animals ready to find a forever home today. The Santa Barbara Humane Society offers low-cost spay and neuter and vaccinations to cats and dogs in our community. And Dr. Sisk is our veterinarian who performs those surgeries and helps with the vaccinations. Also, please have a relationship with your local veterinarian in case of an emergency. Visit sbhumanesociety.org and remember... At the Santa Barbara Humane Society, we want you to adopt, not shop. Well, we're here today with Nancy and her adopted pet, Monkey. Now, I've heard of uh, monkeys that were called Doggy, but I've never heard of a dog named Monkey. How'd the name come about? Well, they had, him, had her name Gardenia. Gardenia is not a name that I felt like I wanted to use. <laughs> and Carrie had fostered her for some time, and I guess she got into some trouble and sometimes called her Monkey, and that's the only thing she would respond to. It was not my first choice, but if she responds to it, that was fine with me. It's pretty cute. Now, how did you start your search for a pet? I have checked all three places here in the area because I've gotten pets before, and all my friends are on the internet saying, oh, there's this one to go look at over here. And we must have made seven or eight trips here to the Humane Society, and not what I wanted. And then one day we came, and Carrie had just come back from walking her, I believe. And I saw her and I thought, oh, I like that dog. But it wasn't, I had four things I was looking for. What were they? One of them was, she was to be brown. Well, I got a little bit of brown, <laughs> but white was not one of them. The second thing was, she was to be 40 to 50 pounds. 
Well, she's 30, but I can do that. And the other thing was she was supposed to have short hair. She does have the short hair, but she was supposed to be four or five years old because I didn't want a puppy. She, she, I thought she was two and I come to find out she was a year and a half. Uh, she is now two though. So uh, one out of four I guess is okay. So you had a few surprises. I a few surprises. How did the adoption process go? Oh, that went smoothly. Um, I think the first time when I saw her that day, Carrie had us come over to the office because they had her separated. And we spent two hours with, along with my kids with her. And then I came back three or four times, I think, just to play with her here and that. Then I fostered her for a couple weeks. And I finally said, okay, this is gonna work for both of us. So in a way, fostering for a while is a good stepping stone. Really. Right, and to see that, you know, you bond together and that it's gonna work out because I didn't want a dog that I had to walk three miles every day. And so monkey doesn't do three miles a day. <laughs> so we fit very well together. Did you have other pets in the home? And not at this time, but my children live next door. And they have chickens and a goose and turkeys. And they have a dog, a three-legged uh, Doberman. And they are hoping to get a puppy um, at the end of June and uh, they have a cat. So there's a lot of other animals around and not counting the rabbits, the gophers, the ground squirrels, all those kinds of things we also have. You have your hands full, it sounds like. Um, would you recommend adopting a, a pet to our audience? Oh yes, I always have adopted ones. We never go for those that, I, I wanna find homes for all these guys and so many of them, it's not their fault that right. they aren't adoptable by whoever took them originally. So I'm always pleased to take them. Well, you are a real hero oh. to, to adopt a sweet dog like like Monkey, who's got a wild name, right? Monkey Monkey knows his name. Oh yes, yeah. she knows. She's pretty good. Don't you? Yes. yes. I think that it's a great thing that you're doing. So thank, thank you. you. Thank well, you for doing my, it. And my Monkey, pleasure. Well done, you picked a good mom. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. Well, thanks for coming on thank Animal you. Zone. And we'll be right back after these words. Bonjour Alex. Bonjour Renaud. Happiness, it's great food prepared the French way. Chocolate eclair. What makes you happy? A touch of Paris. Without the trip to France. Handcrafted daily in our bakeries especially for you. Indulge yourself. Bon appétit. Please visit Renaud's in Gelson, Santa Barbara, Long Beach, and La Cañada, Flint Ridge. Sometimes scary things happen, like fires and floods, and suddenly a family has lost everything. That's why the Unity Shop has a disaster assistance program. We help families with immediate needs like food, clothing, and household items, and we continue to help them long term until they're back on their feet and in their homes. But it takes a whole community to make this possible. Please, donate today so we can help everyone who needs us. Find out how you can help at unityshop.org. The Santa Barbara County Animal Care Foundation is dedicated to saving animals' lives, but we need your help to continue this critical work. SBCACF provides year-round medical and surgical care so that abandoned, homeless, or abused animals receive the best second chance of finding a loving home. No animal is turned away from surgical care. To learn more and assist us in keeping that pledge, visit sbcanimalcare.org and make a donation today. If they can be saved, we want to save them. Weren't there some amazing animals and guests? You know, you who adopt animals from shelters, you are the true heroes. If you want to see more about Animal Zone and other things, check out our website, animalzone.org. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Never was a friend so true. Never was a friend like you. Canine, you're my best friend. Canine of mine, friend for all time, so glad you're my best friend. Through thick and thin, we'll see things through, canine of mine, so true. Did I find you or did you find me? Either way, it's still serendipity.
When I saw you, it was plain to see You weren't just another lassie Wanna be your canine of mine Friend for all time I'm so glad you're my best friend